Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about some last minute Christmas presents that you can throw out with your 3D printer super quick. Stay tuned. First thing I'd like to show you is simple and it prints really quick. It's easy for any kind of little tiny like getting to know you or you know, thinking of you, Christmas present. Um, and these can be found all over the web on Thingiverse, anywhere you want to look for them. Or you can sit and get, you can sit down and design your own. I have. This is what they call a kit card. See if I can get that to focus on that for a second. The kit card is basically a very flat, very quick, very thin 3D print that when you put it together, it will create something three-dimensional like this little Christmas tree right here pretty simple okay here's a kit card that I designed myself it is a snowflake that when it's put together and I did this in a multiple color print which is pretty easy you just swap the filament when you put it together you end up with a nice Christmas ornament so there's that one right there. Nice little kit card. Send these out any way you want. Some of these kit cards, like this one right here, includes multiple pieces and is put together pretty easily. Some of these kit cards are designed specifically to fit inside an envelope for a Christmas card. So you can actually add these to a Christmas card, probably in that same slot your grandma used to put your $5 bill in. This kit card ends up actually creating a 3D printed Christmas tree ornament. Looks like that. Just slide it together. A couple drops of glue. You're good to go. Kit card. Last kit card. If you don't want to go with a Christmas theme, we have a Star Wars theme. There's a kit card, nice and thin. A little bit of detail on here. Uh, hopefully you can see that detail on the camera. The Millennium Falcon. Here is one that's put together. When you put the kit card together, it looks kind of like that. Got a little bit of B-roll of that, I'll show you. But there's the Millennium Falcon. Pretty slick little design, pretty easy to put together. Anybody can figure it out, but basically, you're giving them not only a little project, but showing what 3D printing can do super easy. And all of these, I believe, print between an hour and two hours or less. So there you have a little kit card, Millennium Falcon. Next thing I want to show you, and I find a lot of these links in Thingiverse, and I'll put the uh, link down below. Uh, anything that's articulated, like this cute little octopus right here. People love this. This one I happen to do with a multicolor print, so I threw down some white and then swapped the filament for some nice purple. This one is PETG, but this one's nice and fun. It will sit on just about anything, and it'll just keep you company on your computer or on bedside table, whatever you want to do. This... Uh, is probably printed about 125% of what you see online at Thingiverse, uh, links down below. Uh, you could print it, it prints very nicely all the way from regular size all the way up to that full size of your bed, whatever your bed is. You can print these fairly large. So this is a little bit longer print, takes a few hours to print, but cranks out one shot. There's no assembly on this. It's a print in place articulated octopus. Pretty simple, pretty easy, not a big deal. Give these away, people love these. There's actually a hole inside here so you could put it on something if you wanted, that kind of thing. Decorate whatever you want, you print multiples of these, put together a whole oct octopus tour de force, send out to uh, friends and family. Okay, next little 3D present I'd like to show people. Pretty simple, pretty easy, this one I designed. Myself, I don't think this is on Thingiverse anywhere, but this is just a little keychain. I got a little split ring that I bought on Amazon. A little tiny chain comes with it. And then right here, I have this yin yang keychain. Nice and simple, a little about 40 millimeter circle there. So it fits in their pocket pretty easily. Nice little dual color print. You can do three colors, four colors on these if you want. Makes them nice and simple. Two of these, even with the color change, or four of these you can print at once. Not a big deal. Still only going to take a couple hours or an hour or less for one or two. It's pretty customizable for whatever amount of time you've got. And not only, you know, it doesn't really have to be a yin-yang. You could put anything on here. It doesn't have to be round. 
could be you know rectangular, could be circle, could be square, could be even triangular. I've seen a lot of different keychains. Easy to make, easy to design. All you got to do is open up your software like DesignSpark Mechanical or any of those kinds of things and you're ready to go. Keychains. Last one, and this is the only one that really requires serious assembly for the uh, more adventurous in your group. This is a rubber band gun. And in the back there, you see it ratchets. It actually shoots five. It'll ratchet rubber bands right up there and right off the edge. They clip on the end there. Easy to ready to go. Rubber band gun. Pretty easy, pretty slick, pretty quick. All you need for this is some super glue and you need a pen spring. You can order them online, get some pen springs off of Amazon or whatever. They come in a bag, 100 to a pack. Pretty cheap, pretty simple, pretty easy. Nice little Christmas present for the more adventurous in your group. Rubber band guns. Okay, and that's what I have for you today. All of those are pretty quick and easy to print. Uh, the rubber band gun on my Prusa did require three different prints. There's the, the grips and the trigger printed together. The inside, so there's, there's three pieces here, one, two, three. And I'll throw up a video. I'll throw up a video on how I put this together. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, but there's uh, two side prints and a middle print. All three of them are the full size of this rubber band gun. And so uh, it actually, I printed the middle one on one bed. I printed the two outsides on a second bed and then switched the color for the grips and the trigger. Of course, you don't have to make the trigger the same color as the grips. It just happened to fit on the bed for me and probably would for you too, depending on what kind of printer you're using. I do think you could probably print this pretty easy, even on a print, even on a Prusa Mini. There you have it. A couple of super quick, super easy, kind of cool last minute 3D print Christmas gifts. Keep in mind, if people aren't into 3D printing, man, they are so into stuff that's 3D printed. I mean, they just think it's amazing. They'll get you lots of smiles. And if it's a nice toy or something that, that moves or something that feels cool when they hold it, like this octopus right here, um, they'll be even more interested in it. If you like what I'm doing here, drop a like down below. Subscribe if you'd like. Ring that bell. Happy holidays. Keep printing. We out.